Hi, I'm Philip Brown, and welcome to our show. And I'm Tanya Matthews. We're just boarding the Moscow excursion as we take a ride on a 1920s coal-fired steam locomotive. We have a great show planned for you today. We're going to take a closer look at the trains, the coal mines that fueled them, as well as some of the beautiful scenery here in northeastern Pennsylvania. So sit back and relax as we go full steam ahead for more great adventure. <laughs> CM passenger train pulls out of the DL and W rail yard at Steamtown in Scranton, Pennsylvania. It takes visitors on a two-hour journey to a simpler time. It kind of offers a bit of nostalgia for those people looking to, to visit, revisit their roots, but also adds that that, that romantic uh, look to the past, where they can uh, they can view what life was like when the rails were the form of travel and when the rails were the, the elite means of travel throughout the country. The ride to Moscow from Steamtown National Historic Site is, is a very eclectic one. Uh, beginning here at the site of the original DL and W railroad uh, yards, uh, the train will start off through a rather urban setting and then travel on uh, gradually meeting up with uh, the foothills of the Pocono Mountains. The trains skirt along the, uh, the banks of the uh, of Roaring Brook, or as it's called here, Nayog by its Indian name. As, uh, on the uh, 12 and a half to 13 mile trip approximately, uh, out, to, out to Moscow, they pass two reservoirs along the way. And upon arrival at Moscow, there is a historically restored rail station, uh, and at which site the passengers are permitted to uh, get off the train, um, view, the, uh, view the train uh, crew as they uh, do their switching and uh, do their run around at that site. What the engineers actually have to do in Moscow is take the locomotive off the front of the train and run it around to the back. The whole operation takes about 20 minutes and gives passengers a chance to see history unfold in front of their eyes. Passengers can then board the train again for the ride back, but this time the view is a bit different. Since the crew can't turn the engine around on the tracks, it makes the whole return trip in reverse. The railroads were a major industry in, uh, in this particular region especially. Describing what it was like to work on the railways is, is, is a very difficult thing to do in this day and age. It, it's, it was dirty work, it was hot work, temperatures inside the cab of a, of a locomotive, and these were the good jobs inside the cab. Temperatures could reach 120 degrees on a summer day. Uh, it was, um, there, there, there weren't a lot of rewards. The passengers had it much better, though these are nothing like modern trains. The cabs are authentic in every detail. That means warm and dirty. They get scattered with soot as the engine burns coal, so these cars don't exactly pass the white glove test. Steamtown is open daily from 9 to 5, and the Moscow excursion runs from May to October. <laughs> 